Let's take a trip on a premier railroad train. This time we'll take a nostalgic look at how rail travel both used to be and still is. It just keeps on rolling, it does, it gets better and better. I must say I've never experienced a holiday like this before. Realistically it's just a cocoon of absolute luxury. It's, it's just opulence from, from the service to the product itself. The Orient Express is the best. The Orient Express is synonymous with class, sophistication, and opulence. In fact, there are simply not enough superlatives to sum up this train. It is the Great South Pacific Express, better known as Australia's Orient Express. The eventual destination is the Coranda Rainforest, just outside Cairns on the east coast of Australia. But destination is not the point of this journey. It is the journey that lies at the heart of this world-class excursion. We do our best to make sure people live happy. People look forward to their trip. They, it's a trip of a lifetime. They, had, they look forward for many weeks, or many months, or many years. For passengers, it is a return to an elegant time in history that has never faded aboard the Australian version of this legendary train. They are greeted by the entire crew as they board the plush coaches. It is the first glimpse of the vital combination that creates the Orient Express experience, the coming together of train and staff. We're one-on-one. -on -one. Um, we've very, got very, very friendly staff, so we always try and have that um, close connection with them, and they really enjoy that. They come to Australia and know that Australians are so friendly, and so, yeah. Attention like this does not come by accident, nor easily. Each member of the team is carefully selected. We've made a, a strategy at the beginning to hire people 50% on their skills, 50% on their personality. Now, depending on a case-per-case -case scenario, we might increase the personality percentage and decrease the skill personality. It's very, very hard to get everybody to work happily in a confined space for six days at a time. So we've got to make sure each time we bring a new person, the new personality doesn't break down and add value to the rest of the team. The setting could not be more conducive to refined relaxation, a kind of nirvana on rails. The attention to detail goes far beyond the artful carving of paneled walls, further than custom stained glass. It is often the combination of smaller things that go to creating a grand experience. Fine etching on glassware, waxed seals on personal soap. Absolutely blown away with it. And we were saying that um, with all the beautiful books and brochures that uh, we looked at, that when you actually get into the train, the details, all the beautiful brass filigrees and the, the um, fabulous wainscoting and everything in there. Doesn't, the photos don't do it justice. It's just stunning. And you, we keep finding yes. little things, don't we? Right. Loving it. We go to a very, very long extent as far as how to treat material, fabric, carpet, how to wash, how to dry clean. Same for the china. We've got our china made in Italy, imported especially for us. The glasses is made in Hungary all those kind of things and even if we do forget at some point that it is a beautiful surroundings we do treat it with very much respect. Meals are the culmination of talents aboard the train. Here you find all the pieces working together with the sole purpose of passenger pleasure. Firstly we want it to be uniquely Australian. Um, we, we describe the train as like a cruise on land um, so we try and use all fresh local produce. We pick up fresh produce all along the way. Up in Cairns, we pick up fresh seafood, vegetables, fresh tropical fruits. Um, and again, all, all up the eastern side of, of Australia. Before any of the meals uh, get on board the train, we'll be sitting down uh, between ourselves, working out the food and wine lists as, together. We, we work closely that way. Our, a lot of our wine staff, our staff on board dealing with the wine are very experienced and uh, very knowledgeable at helping the guests choose. Personally, I, I enjoy uh, the seafood side of things. Um, 
especially out of Brisbane and out of Cairns, we can get some magic seafood. Morton Bay Bugs is a personal favourite, uh, which is a, it's a slipper lobster really, um, but much better than lobster. A lot sweeter flavour and they're just beautiful, so we enjoy using them. Our guests expect the best, as I said before, so we always exceed their expectations. And in this part of Australia, expectations are high with regard to scenery, both inside and outside the train. Travelling aboard a train is, after all, one of the finest ways to see things. Australia's Orient Express makes few stops, but the chosen pauses in this rolling journey are truly spectacular. The Orient Express flies guests out to the reef for yet another experience of a lifetime floating over this marvel of nature. The Karanda Rainforest is another natural wonder the Orient Express reveals. It's a different kind of rail, the sky rail, where you float above this virgin rainforest. This soaring form of transportation was created so that no roads would be built below, no trees felled to blaze trails. Down below, Aboriginal rangers guide you through the maze of green splendor. This area here alone is a unique rainforest because around the boardwalk itself there's over different, 60 different species of trees. And not only that, my tribe, the Jabagai, also once roamed into this area, camping, collecting bush foods for their people. Now what we have got here is a lawyer vine. The lawyer vine consists of the wait a while. Why this is called the wait a while, this is exactly what it does to you. It grab hold of you and you can't move. See how that attached to my shirt? That's the reason why it's called wait a while. I think the sky rail itself is for all to come up and see the beauty of the rainforest. Australia is a land of varied beauty. It comes in natural forms and man-made creations. The Orient Express is a portal to such magnificence. Well, it is unique, and it's uh, the epitome of luxury, and total indulgence, and uh, so beautifully done. So it's quite overwhelming, actually. And I feel very honoured to have been able to do it. I hope that throughout their holiday here in Australia, that this has been the most memorable part of their trip and um, that they tell everyone back home that they've got to come. Oh, I'll tell everybody that they must do it. They must save up. Even if they have to sacrifice other things, that they should, if they possibly can, have that experience once in their lifetime. <laughs> <laughs>